Okay, everyone. Well, all right. So I found a really nice quote um, from Robert, and it says, what you judge and criticize in others does curse and condemn yourself. It all starts inside yourself first. Yep. Very, very true. Now, let's think about it logically. Inside of us, our memories, our survival system, which is the limbic operating system, will bring in the world, organize it, spread it throughout the cortices. That means there's not stuck in one place. It's spread out through your whole entire mind. And that means when he has experiences with anybody, dad, brother, aunt, uncle, sister, whoever, it comes in, the brain spreads it out through the mind. It will create a character called mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle inside of yourself. So when you visit a memory within yourself, you're not visiting that person. And when you play a memory inside yourself, that person is not doing it to you. In reality, it's you doing it to you when you visit a memory because it's written information on the cells of your brain and it's you. So again, remember what you dislike out there starts in here because of your own programmings and experiences. I hope that makes sense. So again, we're tapping about stress. You know, and this is like the de-stress your life and um, changing the unpleasantries in our life, in our world. Let go of stress and anxiety, tap along. But where does stress and anxiety come from? You know, so a, lot, a lot of people will take a stress course, a de-stress course, and of course they don't know how to de-stress you. But they'll give you the top 10 reasons why you have stress. So they call it stressors. You know, the death of a loved one, a move, a marriage, a divorce, children leaving, job changes. But they don't realize the number one stressor is ourself. It's how we internalize and represent the world. And from this internal representation, it tells our body how to respond to the world. So stress is your body's reaction to perception. Change perception, you change your stressors. Now, some of these stressors are created, could be as a small child. You know, something bad happens to you or mom didn't pick you up on time at school. And then in your mind, you created an idea that you're not safe. That little idea, I'm not safe, grows up and continues to see the world as I'm not safe. So what we're going to do is we're going to start cleaning up some of your memories of stressors, etc. Pain has a, des it's designed to do one thing, is that keep you from getting more pain, right? So if you have a painful ideal inside your head, your brain's going to try to help you to avoid the pain. But the problem is it will use pain to help you avoid pain. Right. Does that make right. sense? So it's going to so use its sub pain. Substitute physical pain for mental pain. Mental emotion. And, and also the brain can create physical pain. Because it has memory banks of pain. So it'll use the past pain experiences and make it real today. Um, you know, booking a session, you know, say a session with me. I'm not, I'm not the cheapest guy in town, but I'm very thorough and complete. And it's worth every bit of it because you get deeper changes than most people can get anywhere else. But just think about it. You're spending about a, this is prob, this is very reasonable uh, emotional health education and changes i mean think about it a hundred bucks for eight hours with an expert who knows what he's doing and you can see people on this call change each week where do you ask where else can you get that? <laughs> seriously this is good yeah. health medicine you know what i'm saying this has been invaluable to me. I mean, truly. Yeah. And it also I'm, prompted me to do some work with a, a practitioner. And yeah. um, she's doing some really, really, she is good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Right. Thank good. you. All right. Thank you for being here.